or Jamar? We've got mm-hmm. Kevin Brockway first. Hey, Jamar, uh, just a takeaway defensively this season. What, what's been uh, the keys to you guys? Uh, you know, 15, you have 13 interceptions, which leads the Big Ten. Just what, what has been some of the things that have been working uh, for you guys uh, in the secondary and throughout the defense that's allowed you guys to get the ball as much as you have? Um, we've been first. We've been giving them um, good disguises, um, showing the coverage here and there, and switching it up. And then also in the off season and preseason, we were catching jugs, doing a lot of ball drills. You know, we 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 work on takeaways every Tuesday. You know, like today it was takeaway Tuesday. We do our ball drills, and a lot of our takeaways, you know, they just came right to us. So we just had to seize the opportunity in the game, and that's what we've been doing, capitalizing on those um, QB mistakes. Sammy and then John. Uh, good afternoon, Jamar. Uh, Maryland has a, an offense that's very multiple. They run uh, a lot of plays out of the same formation. Uh, what makes that difficult to defend, and how do you guys go about, uh, you know, defending multiple plays out of out of a similar formation? Uh, we're just gonna do. We're just gonna do. Everybody just got to do their job. You know, Coach Kane's gonna put us in the right position, and we're gonna trust the game plan. And I mean, as long as everyone do their job, keep a top on the coverage, um, everybody running to the ball, everything should be smooth. John and then Dylan. Uh, we're talking to Thomas Allen tomorrow. I know he's in a different position group, but I mean, Coach Allen has talked about just being a tough guy. He's gone through a lot of stuff with the shoulder surgery, and then obviously now with the with the hip. Um, how much do you guys feel for a guy like Thomas, just with what he's gone through, and and how do you, you know, continue to support him? I guess with everything he's going through. Oh yeah, Thomas. Yeah, man, we love Thomas, man. I just talked to him the day before I went out to practice. I usually see him right before I walk through the training room to go to practice. I ask him how he's doing. He was doing good today. That's what he told me. But yeah, man, he's a tough guy. I know he's been through a lot of injury. You know, he's been, but he always comes back fighting. You know, he he made a good play for us in that Michigan State game, the game when he got hurt. But I mean, all we're gonna do, all we have to do as teammates, is encourage him. You know, keep his head up. Make sure he's, you know, make sure he's not getting down or anything. All right, Dylan. Hey, Jamar. Uh, this week, you know, you guys are facing another mobile quarterback. I mean, have you guys sort of gotten into a rhythm of facing, you know, quarterbacks like this? And um, I, I know you guys missed a, f- a few times, bringing down Justin Fields a few times. I mean, how big of an emphasis has that been this week in practice to kind of make sure, you know, it doesn't happen again on Saturday? Uh, yeah, we just got to make sure we don't make that same mistake twice. You know, we got to make sure we, when we get back there, we got to – um break down, you know, make sure we secure the tackle first and start not, and try not to, like, just lay a big hit on him or anything because we know he can move. So, you know, we just got to stay under control when, we, when we're in our blitzes and when we get to the quarterback and just capitalize, keep him contained. One more for John. Obviously, um, you're playing safety now, but when I look back at recruiting, I mean, they had you listed as a corner. I mean, how many different positions did you play, I guess, growing up in high school, and how did you develop kind of that knack for the ball? Uh, first off, I started off high school freshman football playing running back and outside linebacker, and middle linebacker. So, and then my sophomore year and half beginning the second half of the season, they moved me to safety. And you know, I started progressing there. You know, I always play offense, so catching the ball is not really a big thing to me. You know, I don't really have DB hands. I got like receiver hands, you could say. But and then also my junior year, you know, I moved to corner. I went to a different school. I went to corner and safety. You know, we played a big receiver. I'd go out there and line up at corner, you know, man to man him the whole game. And then senior year, I played everything almost running back, receiver, free safety, cornerback, down safety. I mean, it's, I like the, I like it. I like the challenge, you know. I mean, I make sure all you got to really do is have good feet and good hands, you know. And you can pretty much go at any DB position. All right, one for Stefan. Uh, Jamar, how surprised were you, I guess, when you saw, um, you know, after that tip drill to see Jerome be the one to come down with the ball? And, you know, also how exciting is that for you guys seeing seeing the defensive lineman getting some interceptions as well? Oh, yeah, that was exciting. You know, we just – we always emphasize running to the ball, you know, making sure all the guys run to the ball no matter – even if it's not coming your way because, you know, you never know what can happen. And he got – Got lucky, man. I'm glad he was able to reel that in. You know, we was excited for him. You know, big guys barely get the interceptions, so you know that was very special. You know, and that was a good, good turning point for our defense. You know, hyped us up a little bit. All right, All right. 
right. Thank you, Jamar. Thanks, everybody. We'll see everyone tomorrow.